Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Scorpio, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Scorps, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your love and your support of the channel. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about your energy. Um, coming into your energy, a uh, little bit of frustration, I have to say that, okay? And discomfort, specifically. So it's kind of like, um, it's not a big impatience, it's more so the frustration of waiting. So I, I don't know how to say that there's a difference of that because I don't know, how, how can I say that? I don't know how to say it. I, basically, that's how I feel. I don't feel like I'm super like, let's go, let's go, let's go. But at the same time, I'm tired of waiting in your energy. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of, you know, uh, the same old, same old. That's how I feel in your energy. So it's a bit frustrating. The, the thing about it is all around you is nothing but light. So it's not like you know, it, it's not like you don't know where this is going or know uh, that this is going to change or, you know, you're not in limbo. You definitely have light all around you. It's more so like, all right, Lord, come on. All right. Yep, it's me, Scorpio. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Woo -woo. You know, <laughs> uh, we've all been there, Scorp, so I can definitely relate. Let's see what's going on. We're pulling from the uh, Psychic Tarot Oracle for you today. Can I have Scorpio, please? Please and thank you. Ah, third eye chakra. So intuition on 10. Like I said, you see the light. You see it. I know it. I, I can see it around your energy. It's nothing but light. So your, whatever your circumstances are, you know that it's already in the works. It's not even like one day I'll have this. I'll be this. I'll understand this. No, you actually see it. It's right there. It's just... It's kind of like uh, you have to wait for, um, uh, I don't know, uh, 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 a window of opportunity or, you know, you have to take one step at a time or, um, you know, w whatever the case is. You know, divine timing is never on our timing, right? But um, the great thing is that I think it gives you peace knowing that whatever you're dealing with is something that's um, either capable of change or you know is going to change on its own because it's already in the works or, um, you know, it's, uh, it's already done. You kind of just have to wait for the alignment, if, if that makes sense. So it's kind of like, I sent in the paperwork. I just have to wait for them to return it. You know, I signed it. I just have to wait for it to be processed. It's kind of like that. You know what I mean? What you have coming in is spiritual strength. So whatever hole that you feel like you're sitting in because of this delayed energy that you're kind of stuck in, it's getting ready to literally lift off your shoulders. You're absolutely correct um, in what you see. Now, Behind that, we have some changes, financial and material. This, whatever this is that you're in right now that you see yourself getting out of, especially if it's a financial matter, it's re, it's re, help me with my words. Um, it's making you redo something. How can I say that? It's like it, uh, maybe a new budget, um, a new diet plan, because you never want to feel like this. A new budget, because you never want to be stuck like this. You know, those are the things that you have. So it's kind of like you're going to get out of this hole, yes, but you already know that once you do, you're going to make changes with 
with your new direction, with your new opportunity, so that whatever you're feeling now, you're uh, positioning yourself that you won't have to endure or it won't feel as bad while you have to wait. You understand? So it's like maybe I uh, maybe you switch jobs and you kind of have that that uh, differential in pay. You, uh, for instance, I went from getting paid weekly to getting paid monthly, and that was a huge like, oh my god, I didn't even get it. But once I once I realized, you know, uh, once I went through that, I tried to position myself that if I had to go a month without pay, that at least I would not be in a cardboard box on the corner. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, yes, material and spiritual prosperity is coming in for you. Yes, this is already victorious. I'm not worried about it. And I know you're not either. Yes, you're going to see the... Um, fruit of your label, you will be able uh, to enjoy it. And uh, with this strengthening of the solar plexus chakra, you're going to basically realize that honestly, there's nothing I can, um, nothing I can't do, nothing, you know, I, I can't accomplish this. I'm, it's like you're seeing, I'm saying I'm because I'm so deep in your energy. I'm sorry. Um, it's like you're seeing, um, I, how can I say that? Uh, you're seeing, Ooh, you're seeing the matrix of, of, of kind of, I guess, the manifestation of your, your spiritual presence or your spiritual energy, and then the fruit of the physical, you know, how it works. Did that make sense? So coming into understanding of that, it now makes your foundation or makes you see that I have a really big part that I can play here. Um, that I don't, it's not all about kind of just saying, God, fix it, God, change it, God, provide it's, and it's not all, all about, you know, uh, I can do this. I can do that. I can do this. It, you know, it's like, you're seeing the matrix of it come together. Okay. So, um, firm foundation coming in behind that because of your new understanding and because of the new discipline and the new changes that you're making from this period here, which increases your level of maturity for the carnal world, for the possession world, for the physical world. And now you'll get more information in the spiritual. Awesome sauce, knowing who you are, where you stand and increase all around you. I love this. Scorpio, come on, do the darn thing. Um, Let's do your spread. I want to do Pruitt's. We're going to get some meat and potatoes, get some more details. But so far, so good on this energy. I know it's not comfortable position, but you. It, but it's not bad. You know, I have to say that, Scorp, I love you. I don't feel attacked. I don't feel, you know, like, woe is me. I don't feel like you're wallowing or anything like that. I mean, you have moments, but that light you can't deny. You can't deny that light. And it does give you comfort. And it, it restores um, that faith, it restores that strength, you know, it gets you out the bed and keeps you pushing. Can I have the core for Scorpio? What's at the center? Please. And thank you. Look at that. Every area of life is changing. Every area of life, 10 of pentacles, five of pentacles. Yeah. So it's frustrating. It, it feels bad, but you can't deny that everything is being touched here in this season for you, all right? You're going to open up a whole bunch of options, so make sure you choose wisely, okay? But I think, like I said, your plan is already to make changes. So how you're going to do that is what you're kind of thinking about. Like, when I get this, I'm going to do that. When I get that, I'm going to put that aside. When I get that, I'm going to make sure I get a good one so it can last. You know, it's like a diff, it's a new mindset because you're reaffirming your stability. Six of Pentacles right behind the Seven of Cups. You're reaffirming, you're changing, you're growing. Crown this energy for, okay, crowning you is the world. Pull down from that. Basically what crowns you is, is there for assistance. You know this is coming to an end. You know this closure is coming. You know that this transition is going to create new opportunity. You know this is an opportunity to bring something, let it go, and start fresh. You understand? So if it's a move or a change in some way, 
you know that it's beneficial to your foundation. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, coming in with the world. It's beneficial to your foundation all the way around. I'm loving, loving, loving this energy. What's working against Scorpio right now? What's in the way? What's working against? And I have justice in reverse. It's not fair. It's not fair. You're right. I agree. I agree. Um, it don't seem fair. It don't seem righteous. It don't seem truthful. You know, why do I have to do things the right way? And this person gets rich by lying. You know, that one gets rich by stealing, you know, that one over rich, uh, there is rich with, 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 you know, with, with, uh, lust, whatever the case is, you know, but Scorpio, regardless to, um, what's, of this world, you know, you're, we're, we're here. Yes. But you're not of the world. You're in it, not of it. Okay. So that looking at things like that is only going to lower your vibration and frequency and you want to keep it high because right now it's what's, like I said, getting you out the bed, keeping you solid. Okay. Ace of Swords coming in with justice in reverse, working against you. That means that you're saying, Lord, let me know. What do I need to know? What do I need to do? What don't I understand? You're asking for the answers and you feel like I'm not understanding. I'm not getting the answers. Why can't I just cut myself free? Why do I have to wait? What I'm willing to do the work. Why don't you give me the tools? You know, why don't you give me the opportunity? And honestly, Scorp, right now, like I said, it seems like what you're in is faded. It's seasonal. It's positional. You are surrounded by light. Take this as not a, a punishment. More so look at it like an um, uh, a protection because obviously you're being withheld for a reason and it's for nothing but your greatness coming out of this. So maybe what's in alignment with your greatness, they, something has to be cleared off the road before you're allowed to travel on it safely. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this blockage that you're enduring right now. Yeah. Um, I think it's good just working for your greater good because maybe you have other things, uh, people, places, and things that, you know, are, how can I say, have been trying to work against you and you don't even know it, you know, but God is still, that's the beauty of a wonderful, perfect creator, you know, that, um, things that we don't know and don't see, you know, are working to our benefit. You, you understand? Where's this coming from? for Scorpio. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Past energy, please. Strength in reverse. Leo energy. So Scorpio, it's been hard to kind of quiet your demons in your head. I'm not going to lie. It's been hard. Um, Yeah, look, it's hurt. Yeah. What I can say is, again, coming out of this, I just think that you have a whole new outlook on what it is that makes you feel this way. You know, hurt, shame, uh, frustrated, impatient, things like that. Be it this uh, a third party situation. Um, or whatever situation that kind of, it's almost as if it hurts you to recognize that you now know what's been keeping you from being your best self, from operating in your highest self. I think that you've been made aware of it. And I think that for some of you, to be honest, you chose to endure so that we uh, that's how this is coming in. It's like, all right, I'm a, I'm a, you know, how can I say this? I'm a take this left, even though I really could go right right now, but I know you need to go left. So I'm gonna take the left with you, baby. And, um, we gonna do this together, but it's like, now you're realizing that your intentions were pure, but you really hurt yourself more than anything, taking that left and you were meant to go right. Now, that doesn't mean that there should have been a separation, but there definitely should have been some type of separation. Um, in, in 
in direction, in movement, you know? But you felt like something was worth fighting for. You felt like something was worth standing for. And even if it's, like I said, third party situation, you're asking for clarity on what to do with it. I don't think you're questioning what it is. It's more so, what do I do? And if you're given the Ace of Swords, when you ask God that, that means that you're getting a sword of information and clarity with the ability to cut ties, but it's up for you to wield the sword. That's a sword of truth, okay? And I think you chose to kind of work on something. It's like, all right, I understand that. So at least let me try to work on the areas for improvement before I make a, de a final decision. And in some way you regret that, okay? Um, I don't think... I still, I still feel, if this is a relationship, let me say this. Um, if this is a relationship, I'm not saying that there's no emotion because you wouldn't be so tied down if there were, if there wasn't. It's more so like you're starting to understand the importance of when it comes to life choices that sometimes we have to set emotions aside and look at the meat and potatoes, you know? Um, and your realization of that is kind of now making you understand that changes need to be, changes need to be made. It doesn't take from the victory or success or possibility of your union, but it does, um, make sure that you're uh, better prepared or that you handle things differently in the future. Where are we going with this? The four of cups. Yeah, you don't like this score, but... What you have, the determination that I'm getting in your future energy is that I cannot continue, uh, I cannot continue giving and pouring and hoping and wishing and dreaming um, something that is not, not that it's not realistic, it's more so it's not capable. You understand? Four of Cups energy is funky. You know, this is somebody who had 10 cups at one time, but realizing when they looked in those 10 cups, either they were empty or that what was in them wasn't kind of what they thought it was. So remember, cups are emotions, healthy emotions. So by the time this person reevaluated all of their cups, they really got down to like three that was solid out of 10. Three of Cups is a whole lot. When you're actually thinking you got 10 and you rarely got three, it's like, are you serious, you know? But you want that 10. That 10 is emotional bliss and fulfillment, you know? So when done, someone offers you a cup, now you're inspecting it, you know? Now you're saying, wait a minute, I, I know the cup looked the same, but what's inside of it, you know? Um, you're focused on quality now and not just the quantity of, I want the 10, because you're putting an end to and bringing closure to like thinking something is when it wasn't. It was all in your head. You know, I love you, Scorp, but you know, we talk here. Okay. But this is coming to an end and you're, you're learning. This is a very learning process. You're learning to kind of like step in your power to be confident uh, to be focused and passionate about yourself, what you deserve, or uh, about your life as a whole. And this is edifying you. It's edifying you um, in spirit. It's edifying you with your relationship with the Most High because now your prayers are more intense and they're more detailed because that you have a new understanding about yourself. It's like when you get those aha moments when you look at your past, it's like, oh, okay, I get it now. And now you're able to kind of lift up and be that example of the most high, you know, giving your own testimony because of what you learned. All right. Now, this is not going to be easy. Okay. Because now it's like, you're looking at maybe if, if I was defending that, maybe I should be defending this. 
you know? Yes, I was defending the fact that, you know, I've been at this job 27 years, but now that I think about it in hindsight, everybody that's left is not doing well, you know? So now I'm looking at things different. That allows you to kind of more so connect with the same mindset so that, you know, you're connecting with people that also have had 10 cups and now they're down to three. They understand, you know, like you have to know it's, 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 it's weird how, you know, the term misery loves company is really underrated. It's underestimated. Um, and it's the absolute truth. When you go through something, you really feel like you relate to somebody that went through the same thing, you know, and that's what this feels like to me. It's like, you're going to maybe talk or meet with somebody that understands because they went through the same thing. That's where your clarity and understanding comes from. You know, because God, you know, will use anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yourself included. But again, you you can get the sword. What you do with it is still your choice. Remember, one of uh, our first gifts was free will. Okay? So I know you feel like um, as long as I work and master my craft and, and work on my foundation, you know, I know I'll be okay. Um, you, there's still a consideration here of an emotional attachment that you feel is for you or you feel connected to in some way that you can't kind of just say, it's like, I know this job is not, there's nowhere else to grow to, you know? So therefore, when I think of my future and the growth of it, I cannot look at this job and say, I can see myself working there because there's no way I'm working here and accomplishing the things that I see in my future. It's weird how this is coming in, guys, because I do feel the alignment, but it's almost like an alignment that's outgrown itself, like something that, like um, a fish that outgrew a tank or what is it? Something, the crab outgrows the shell. That's how I feel when I put this five in, um, page together. There, the six is there, so there is an alignment, but the 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 but it's severed in some way, shape, or form. I don't know how to explain that, but the tower is here, and I'm glad because whatever it is that connects you, you're getting ready to have a divine intervention because, again, God is just perfect, all right? You're going to have a divine intervention, something that has to fall in order for you to see that the foundation was no good if you continued building or because you're meant to go further along your path and you couldn't see that because the tower was blocking it. Now, the tower, remember, is blood, sweat, ears, and tears, something you build. So watching it fall doesn't feel good, but man, does your expectations change when it's gone. It's like, OMG, now I have room for my ships to come in. I didn't even realize the tower, uh, what I was building was blocking the dock. You know, it was blocking the waterway for the ship to come in and deliver all my goodies. Okay. So when you see that, it's like a whole new world opening up for you, uh, a clean slate. You know, the fool is here. All right, that's what the fool has, a clean place, a clean slate, you know, that leap of faith energy. So while I can't say that someone is going to be affected by these changes in your life, yourself included, I can't say it's going to be easy, all right? Um, but I will say that it will be worth it and it will work out. Some of you may be considering therapy. I'm smelling Aquarius in this Nine of Swords. Um, maybe considering uh, therapy to kind of reattach that six. Remember the six I was talking about earlier, the five of cups and that page. So to re kind of revisit what connected us in the first place. Others of you, there's more so a teamwork making the dream work so that you can remember uh, your emotional uh, foundation and stability that, that was driving you, you know, and you, because you want to hold on to that. It, it This feels so good. Can I mention that? I'm sorry. I don't want to downplay this energy. The six of cups is not 10. I understand that. It's not complete bliss and fulfillment emotionally. I really, but I feel so much love and peace in this six of cups. It is, I mean, I, 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 it's without words. Okay. So, um, twin flame, soulmate, past life connections, all that stuff represents, um, the six of cups represents, but keep in mind that 
it's a forward moving energy. So the purpose of reestablishing this, um, hmm, help me with my words, reestablishing this connection or this leveled, uh, playing field, this, this, um, calm. It, there's a calm in here. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, that's what you want to hold on to for you to kind of like, feel like I did the right thing. You know, I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I'm in the right place. Um, I know I'm in alignment with my uh, assignment, you know, uh, things like that. You understand what I'm saying? That's what you want. All right. Whew. All right. I think I'm gonna end this here because Things get a little funky beyond that. Let me say this. For those of you that this is not about, I think this is about a relationship, to be honest. If it's not a love relationship, it's a life relationship. How we kind of hold on to jobs, um, even homes. Um, you know, some people hold on to a house because it's their family's house. It's my family's house. This is, you know, I was brought up here or, you know, uh, such and such gave me this house. You know, it's like you're starting to understand, uh, you're having a different understanding of, of carnal things in life. Carnal things meaning, you know, things you can touch, you know, things of the flesh, you know, of physical things. Let's say it like that, matter. It, there's a new understanding coming in with things like that. And when you walk away to your emotion, uh, walk away from the emotional attachment of things that you're realizing are so, so, so small and they are okay. And they really are. It's like, it's hard to escape what you, uh, the only thing that you knew or was taught or how you were raised. But when you look at it through the eyes of faith and really kind of face the fear of what if, or you purge that, um, I don't want to talk about it, or uh, that's how, that's just how I was brought up. It is what it is. When you purge that energy, it's like you can bring it into what has been keeping you from um, being your best or really kind of, uh, being in alignment with your destiny here in this lifetime, you know? So it's, if this was, if obtaining this house was a previous ancestor's, uh, destiny, and now you're in that lineage, you have that same blood, you have that same attachment to this house now, but when you look at your destiny and your assignment and your calling, it's like, how can my calling be on the other side of the world when the house is here? You know, it, it, it brings in a little bit of frustration, but when you separate that emotional attachment and really kind of fight through that toilet paper torture of, I can't leave the house because I can't do that because I can't do this because, and really face the unknown. You can bring this to an end, which would bring into an end the oppression or suppression of your movement, which will allow you that independent and success to refill you emotionally, you know, to know that you did it. This gives you a new power and control but in order for you to see the emperor that you're becoming, you have to see past the moon and the moon hides the fact that some things in your life that are hard, it's because you hold on to them. But that has been the trick of the enemy in your journey. OK, so I hope that helps, guys. Um, if any event you say green eyes, listen, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising. Um, don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it does support the channel, okay? And now if any event you want to go ahead and make that investment and get a personal, then I respond to email request only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. If you do like what you get here and you want to sow a seed because you eat here and feed you, please donation are more than um, appreciated. That information is below the video or in the more section or about section of the channel. There's also a couple of links available for your convenience of PayPal and Cash App. 
Other than that, guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.